If you can't take all this freedom, then you can suck a big old lollipop. For this Freedom Fries, we are checking out Curse of Mermos. Uh, it says down in the corner that it's for educational use only. I don't exactly know how or why, but we'll give it a shot. Also recommends the controller, which is always a plus in my book. So let's do. Strafe in an educational game? Trigger wave, melee, roll, shooty. Okay. Can do. Potions are right bumper, attractions are left bumper. All right, so we want to go and shoot stuff. Again, I'm not entirely sure how this is supposed to be educational. Collect the souls of your enemies. I do that in real life, so really, maybe that's where the educational bit comes in. Could this be it? Could this be the tomb of the great Pharaoh Ebo? This might be greater than the discovery of Tutankhamun. It is I, the great Ebo. I have been betrayed by my commander, Mermos, and cursed to spend eternity within these walls. Help me defeat the monsters that forbid me to escape, and you'll be immensely rewarded. Okay. Oh, I'm not, I'm not holding strafe, that's what... Okay, I got this now. Thing is... <sighs> controls are kind of, uh... Clumsy in that, uh... Like, you lock into a strafe, you can't move. Now the nice thing is Stray seems to quick lock on the nearest uh, enemy, but at the same time... It's kinda eh. Talk to Evo. Oh, I forgot about the roll. I should be using the roll more. Got it. <laughs> Hammer time. Okay. Weapon swap is quick. Bring back the souls of the monsters and I will make you stronger. So, level up. Great things are given to those that sacrifice souls upon this offering shrine. What's up? Apparently I can't buy that? Oh, maybe I already have two? That would explain it. Oh yeah, I got juice. Okay, cool. Why for next wave? All right, now I got. All right, we're getting the hang of this now. This, this is all right. This is all right. It's not amazing. I think I have the audio set a bit low, but whatever. Imagine generic Egyptian tomb jams, and you you get the idea. The other thing is, you cannot hold the button. Okay, let's get better at this rolling thing. Maybe use some melee when they get close enough. Alright, Y for next wave. We can upgrade something. And it is wise to unlock all abilities. I like unlocking abilities. Vitality up is good. And if you get Vitality up, it automatically heals you. And actually, if you roll while you're holding the, uh, strafe button, it automatically uh, reassigns the lock to the nearest enemy, which is really handy. Definitely something to get used to if you actually pick this up. Well, I should be using it more. Glad there's not a stamina bar. I also like the little, uh, 
highlights through the pillars and stuff. We need to upgrade our weapons next chance we get. Because seriously, this is terrible. Please don't die. Looks like souls have a, uh, like a half-life as well. They don't stay on the thing forever. Oh! You can revive if you start getting pounded. That's kind of cool. That's good to know. Alright, we'll do one more wave. Oh, we got Skeleton Mans! Okay, I'm really glad they, uh, give you more to shoot at. That is new and interesting. Oh, they sneaky scary. Could you not, sir? Could you not? Dead. Oh, we got bigger problems. I don't know if I like the drippy noise for the souls, but so be it. Gotta make that dead man shadow. Just wonder if we were done yet. Alright. You get the idea. Shoot things forever, collect souls, upgrade. I'm guessing maybe there's more to the pyramid eventually, or the tomb, or wherever we are. But, uh, yeah. Curse of Mermos. It's not bad. Thanks for watching. Top vid's old, bottom vid's new. Everything else, pretty self-explanatory. Big button in the middle goes to my website. There's words there. Other stuff too. Check it out. Later.